Hello, Internet people. Today I'm going to make a quick video to show you guys uh, the resin mixture I use for my 3D printer. This is my um, Frozen Sonic uh, Mighty 4K, but I used to use it on my Elego Mars, my Elego uh, Mars Pro 2. Uh, but this is this is the resin mixture that I use uh, to get robust, uh, more sturdy, um, less breakable uh, 20, 32 millimeter, you know, miniatures for like tabletop games like Dungeons and Dragons. So first off, um, my go-to I get Soraya Tech Fast Gray, the one uh, the one kilogram bottle right here, and then I have this bottle of Soraya Tech Tenacious. This is their fancy, like expensive, it's like like one and a half times as expensive as this bottle. Um, clear, like bendable, non-breakable resin, but you just need a little of this. So this is one, K, one kg, which is like what, a thousand, thousand grams, right? This is a thousand grams. A lot of people on the internet will be like, oh, use like 50, 10 to 10 to 20% or 50% of Tenacious to whatever resin you're using. I go along with that when I do it a little bit different. Um, I've shaken these off camera before I started the video, so they're shaking. I'll give them another shake here. But what I like to use is the one kg, this bottle, um, has enough room to put about 150 milliliters of this in. So instead of doing the math on 15% and taking some out or whatever, I just leave the thousand milliliters, or I'm sorry, yeah, no, the thousand grams in here and I just add 150 grams, which is very easy to do. Take the top off this bottle. Did you do? And I'll have links in the description to get to, so you can buy this resin if you want, or look at it, or you know, see it, or smell it on Amazon or whatever. Uh, this is the regular fast. This is my tenacious. Uh, this is the little cup that comes with uh, resin printers a lot of times. It's a grant. It's from like you know, zero to hundred milliliters. Do the 50 milliliters first because once this fills with resin, even clear, it gets kind of cloudy and you can't see the numbers that well. So I'm going to fill this up to 50. It's between 40 and 60. I'm going to fill it up with this line first. Come down here and do it as accurately as I can. It doesn't have to be like, you know, pinpoint accuracy. You can be a little, a little above, a little over. Probably want to be an uh, error in favor of being a little over, honestly. But boom, 50 right there. Okay. So this is 50. Dumping it right into our bottle, no problem. And I've done this before and I know it works. I wouldn't tell you to dump your expensive resin into your other expensive resin if I didn't ever use this. I've done at least three or four bottles of this over the last probably month, month and a half, between uh, two or three different printers. And the figures, especially with swords and stuff, they're much, uh, it's, they're not completely flexible, but they are springer. You can drop the figures a good, you know, three or four feet onto a table. Uh, and you know, they won't break. That's not a guarantee you're gonna make unbreakable figures, but it, it, de it definitely helps, especially if you're painting your figures. I hate painting something and then doing something dumb and dropping it and breaking it, you know, breaking a sword off or something, and even if it's glueable. It's like never perfect, you know, it's not as perfect as it was when you first made it when it didn't have br breaks in it. All right, drop in this 100 right here. Boom, and that's it. And we'll put the lid back on this. Um, Pick this up, I'll show you. That 150 milliliters fits just in there. Look, it's just enough room. There's still some air room in there as well, so you can still shake the bottle really well, which is dope. Uh, and you can be like me. This stuff, you know, the Tenacious is expensive, so I'm like, you know, trying to get every last drop of it out of there into the, into the bottle, but you don't have to be um, an incredible maniac cheapskate like me. But you, you get the you get the point. Um, I give a quick wipe off the top, because it's gross when these bottles are gooped up on the top and start running uh, onto your counter or your shelf or wherever you keep them. Put this lid back on. And then we're good to go. This is good. You, you give it a, I would shake it for like a minute after you do it, shake it for a minute before you start, you know, using it every time. More if you want, if you're anal. I usually shake it for a couple of minutes because I'm kind of paranoid, but you don't have to be. Uh, the Tenacious, again, goes back up on the shelf. One bottle of Tenacious will do about six bottles of, give or take, of, uh, of your Elegoo or whatever, Suraya Tech, whatever regular standard. Resin you're using, like I said, I like the Soraya Tech Fast Gray, but you don't have to use that one. You can use whatever base resin you want. And then the settings for this, my cure, my standard cure times are about, um, from the manufacturer for the printer and the resin, are about like 2.5 second layer height uh, at the at my layer height. But I noticed that at 2.7 seconds works a little bit better with this. I think maybe the um, the um, the extra you know the extra clear resin slows it down just a fraction, but. Do verification cards, figure it out for yourself. But um, yeah, you know, not figure it out for yourself, but you know, do ver verification cards so you can see the grading of what the exact, you know, two point whatever seconds or 1.1 or 4.4, whatever, uh, whatever you're using. But yeah, this is this is it. This stuff, sorry, I take fast one kg with 150 milliliters or uh, grams of it mixed in and you're good to go.